Hi, it's Katrina. From ancient rainforests hidden under the ice to missing pilots found, here are 10 of the most mysterious things found underwater or under ice. Number 10. Underwater Tank Graveyard At the beginning of 2015, a Twitter account specializing in abandoned places posted an image of what appeared to be an underwater tank graveyard. The photo contained a pile of World War II-era tanks found submerged, including some that were upside down, as if they were carelessly dropped into the water from high above. The picture went viral, receiving hundreds of retweets within hours alone. People were curious about where this submerged site was and why there were so many tanks. The Daily Edge, an Irish news publication, had the answer. It turns out that the photo was a screenshot from a 2010 video shot by Richard Stevenson off the Donegal coast. He's been a professional diver for many years, specializing in underwater filming and was excited to find this particular location. The site is situated just 66 feet from the Mallon Head shore and sits 213 feet underwater. Its contents, including the tanks, had sunk to the ocean floor in September 1944 after the ship carrying them was hit by a German U-boat. Sadly, 113 people died in the wreck, which sank too quickly for the crew to put out a distress call. The eerie site stands as it did long ago as a disturbing testament to the destruction of war. Number 9. Antarctic Rainforest In 2017, scientists discovered evidence of a 90-million-year-old rainforest by analyzing a sediment core retrieved from beneath the Pine Island Glacier in Antarctica. They noticed a distinct layer in the core, and a closer look revealed ancient roots, pollen, spores, and remains of flowering plants. Antarctica was once ice-free, hosting a rainforest lush with vegetation that was completely different to its modern-day barren landscape. During the mid-Cretaceous period, the world was unimaginably different than it is today. The climate was extremely hot, with sea levels 558 feet higher than their current levels, and tropical sea surface temperatures hitting as high as 95 degrees. The numerous plant remains indicate that the coast of West Antarctica was, back then, a dense, temperate, swampy forest, similar to the forests found in New Zealand today. Paleoecologist Ulrich Salzman, a co-researcher in a recent study, said in a statement. The climate was mild, similar to that of modern-day Seattle, with an annual mean temperature of 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Data pulled from the study showed that carbon dioxide levels were much higher than they are today, and even higher than scientists previously believed, helping to keep the continent warm even through its annual four months of darkness. What do you think about such a cold place once being a dense rainforest? Let me know in the comments below! Number 8. Ice Age Monuments Last year, a group of activists found what appeared to be deliberately arranged rock formations at the bottom of a lake while they were examining some gas pipelines in the Straits of Mackinac between Michigan's upper and lower peninsulas using a remotely operated vehicle. If they are man-made, the linear and circular structures would date back some 10,000 years to the end of the last ice age. The discovery bears similarities to similar formations that were found in 2009 in Lake Huron, the Detroit Free Press reported. John O'Shea, the University of Michigan archaeologist who spotted the stone structures, reportedly heard rumors years ago of the submerged site more recently discovered in the Straits of Mackinac. But the person who saw them, a consultant hired by a gas company to explore the waters for a proposed pipeline project, was allegedly told to only consider shipwrecks in his analysis and to ignore everything else so the rock formations went unreported. The consultant claimed that he tried repeatedly to obtain permission to have experts look at the site, but was eventually removed from the project for his efforts. This led some to suspect that the gas company was eager to push ahead with the project, even if it meant overlooking potential discoveries of structures left behind by indigenous people. Activists advocated for an opportunity for local tribes and scientists to further explore the formations. There are, of course, two sides to every story, and the company that hired the consultant denied that they limited his research. A spokesperson stated that the company detected no evidence of cultural resources in the Straits of Mackinac, nor was it aware of any such discoveries by the consultants it hired, but expressed an openness to examining any such reports. Controversies like this highlight the ongoing struggle to protect and preserve Native American culture, especially when doing so could interfere with corporate profit. Whether the stone structures will be studied remains to be seen. Number 7. Living Prehistoric Creature Imagine spending years looking for an insect-like creature smaller than a sesame seed. 
That's exactly what biologists Ian Hogg and Byron Adams did. For years, the two worked together in search of Tulbergia mediantarctica. It was originally discovered in 1964, but no one had seen it since then. They began their search in 2006, but their efforts repeatedly turned up fruitless. Finally, in 2018, dozens of specimens turned up under some rocks on a remote cliff similar to the one described in a note by the entomologist who originally discovered the species. The six-legged creatures are pale and have two antennas, and they do not survive long when exposed to the dry Antarctic air. Within a minute of the biologists lifting the rock, the bugs began to dehydrate and die. T. mediantarctica is a springtail, a type of primitive insect that is extremely common but often goes unnoticed in its environment. According to Scientific American, there are several species that live in Antarctica, including T. mediantarctica, and they've been there for millions of years, encompassing up to 30 ice ages. But how they got there is unknown. Usually, animals in Antarctica can only survive near the coastline. These springtails, along with certain types of mites, worms, and wingless flies, are found deep inland. Originally, scientists believed that advancing glaciers repeatedly wiped out Antarctica's life over dozens of ice ages. But these creatures proved incredibly resilient, having survived numerous icy periods and leading scientists to believe that they descended from the continent's original inhabitants. How they survived through such harsh conditions, in addition to the mystery of where they came from, remain open to speculation for now. Number 6. A New Island As the Antarctic Peninsula's two major glaciers retreat at remarkable speed, the melting ice is revealing parts of the planet that people of our time have never seen before. In February of last year, scientists with the International Thwaites Glacier Offshore Research Project announced the appearance of an uncharted island visible above sea level for the first time amid the disappearing ice. Researchers discovered the 1,150-foot-long landmass while sailing off the Pine Island Glacier. They visited the island to examine the layer of brown rock and determined that it's made from volcanic granite. According to expedition member James Marshalek, it's the only such rocky outcropping in over 40 miles in each direction. The team named the landmass Sif Island after a Norse goddess representing the Earth. Most of the island is covered in ice, which researchers believe, based on satellite images, was once part of the dwindling Pine Island Glacier ice shelf. A time-lapse analysis shows that the ice shelf retreated steadily from the island starting in 2011, a process called rebounding, which happens when melting glacial ice relieves underlying pressure, may have caused Sif Island to rise above sea level. Number 5. Prehistoric Mining Sites while swimming through the Sagitario underwater cave system beneath Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, a pair of divers found a rare prehistoric pigment mining site. The submerged tools, fire pits, and other fixtures date back to sometime between 10,000 and 12,000 years ago, when the region's indigenous inhabitants extracted iron-rich red ochre. It's just one of a few discoveries that show how ancient people acquired the bold pigment. Soon after, two other suspected underwater mining sites were confirmed nearby, and there may be more to come. It's not just a one-off sort of thing, geoarchaeologist Edward Reinhardt told National Geographic. There was an active program to prospect, find, and extract ochre. There'll no doubt be more locations. Evidence shows that for around 2,000 years, people embarked on organized expeditions into the mines. Red ochre has been used by societies around the world for thousands of years and in a variety of ways, including for practical purposes such as sunscreen and mosquito repellent, and in artwork and rituals. But researchers are unsure what some of America's earliest inhabitants, the people who first mined at the underwater cave site, used the pigment for. Number 4. Salty Polar Lakes on Mars is it possible that other planets have lakes of some sort? Earth is not the only planet with polar ice caps. Mars has them too, and experts have wondered if there could be water hidden beneath them. And if there is water, then perhaps there is life. Recent research shows that this is, in fact, a possibility. In 2018, scientists detected what they believe to be a lake below the red planet's south pole. Measuring 12 by 18 miles across, it sits under a mile of ice. Such a groundbreaking discovery could perhaps offer insight into any possibility of past or present life on Mars. New evidence gathered from radar data revealed the presence of four lakes over a 155 by 185 mile area beneath the Martian South Pole. 
One of them is the lake found in 2018, while the other three are considerably smaller, measuring roughly 6 by 6 miles. Researchers do not believe that the lakes formed from polar melting, but that they are left over from a larger water body that once sat on the surface, and that they have an extremely high salt content that keeps them liquid despite frigid temperatures. The lakes could be millions or billions of years old and may have formed when the planet's climate was warmer, study co-author and geophysicist Elena Petinelli told Space.com. The team hopes to conduct more research and find out if there are more lakes beneath the Martian ice caps and to collect a sample of the surface at the poles for further research. Number 3. World War II Pilot After months of underwater excavations, the U.S. military has found the remains of at least one pilot that was shot down in 1944. Reports of two U.S. aircraft found underwater in the Republic of Palau led to investigations that lasted several years. Divers in 2015 identified the aircraft as an F6F3 Hellcat and a TBM1C Avenger. Then the excavation began, led by an underwater recovery team that worked 12-hour shifts for 45 days to remove the sand and uncover the remains. Using heavy machinery, including a crane to lift heavy objects, as well as a variety of archaeological tools to meticulously filter through sediment, the team worked to recover the pilot, who was one of four service members who died when both planes were shot down. Taking multiple dives to fill one basket and five hours to sift through each one, it was a tiring but fulfilling process for the teams, who hoped to bring closure to at least one family who suffered the loss of their loved one to the war. Tens of thousands of people are still considered missing from past U.S. wars. 72,941 people are still missing from World War II alone. There are another 7,705 missing from the Korean War and 1,599 people from the Vietnam War. The Defense and POW MIA Accounting Agency, or DPAA, is still trying to find them. Number 2. Submerged Settlement the site known as Atlit Yam is one of the world's best-preserved prehistoric underwater settlements. Discovered during the 1980s and excavated in the following years, the ruins tell the story of a pre-pottery people who were repeatedly forced inland as the sea encroached on their homes. 9,000 years ago, a Neolithic fishing village along the coast of what is now Haifa, Israel, was consumed by the Mediterranean Sea amid rising sea levels. Despite the climate-related changes they struggled with, the residents of Adli Yam displayed immense resourcefulness and innovation. They built the world's first freshwater wells, erected impressive megaliths, and enjoyed a varied diet of over 100 plants, as well as fish and wild and domestic meat. People lived unusually long lives for the time, with many reaching 50 years of age despite the population's struggles against disease, including the earliest known cases of tuberculosis. Evidence shows that Atlit Yam's residents fled suddenly, indicating that there was more to its abandonment than gradually rising seas. Some researchers believe that a tsunami triggered by a volcanic collapse swallowed the settlement. Others have suggested that perhaps it was the biblical Noah's flood. Adli Yam is one of the world's most thoroughly excavated submerged archaeological sites, but the cause of its demise remains a mystery. By studying similar sites along the Israel coast, experts hope to learn more about exactly what prompted people to leave so abruptly. Number 1. An Ancient Lake Hundreds of thousands or possibly millions of years ago, when northwestern Greenland was ice-free, a lake formed there. Occupying an area of over 2,700 square miles, it was about the size of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. It was over 800 feet deep at its deepest point. At least 18 streams fed into the lake from the north, draining through an outlet to the south. At various points throughout the last million years, Greenland's ice advanced and retreated. Today, the lake sits 1.1 miles beneath the existing ice sheet. Scientists do not know when it last held water, and all that's left of it is sediment. They discovered the Paleo Lake Basin using surface-penetrating radar and only know rudimentary details about it so far. Theories suggest that perhaps a glacier carved the lake, or maybe a depression formed when an ancient, now dormant fault line pulled the earth apart. Until or unless the ice covering the lake melts, the only way to learn more about it, including its age, is to drill into it. Researchers believe the buried sediments may contain evidence of past climates and life, information that could potentially prove valuable in understanding how Greenland responds to climate change. Unlike discoveries in recent years of subglacial liquid lakes in Greenland and Antarctica, this is the first discovery of a fossil lake bed beneath the ice. 
Scientists are tentatively planning a project to drill into northwestern Greenland's bedrock in the next several years, although it's unknown whether they will drill into the lake bed. Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!